Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. So I'm officially back in the Twin Cities. So as you guys know, this was the 25th year anniversary of the Essence Festival, and I got a chance to be out there in New Orleans, and I had a blast, honey. Let me tell y'all, I had such a good time. I haven't been in New Orleans in years, okay? But I had such a good time. Everybody was just so welcoming. I ran into so many people that I was just shocked that they knew me from regular people to celebrities alike. It's like everywhere I was going, I was running into people, talking to people. I got a chance to meet Baba G, if you guys don't know who that is he's the one who created all the jewelry for the black panther movie and african film festival totem and L i used to make the totems in california at the pan african film festival and it morphed into this particular design because you guys know i'm team marvel team marvel yes. i'm team marvel <laughs> let me get some of them shirts Everybody knows I'm Team Marvel. I love anything Marvel. Y'all see Team Marvel? So it was awesome to get a chance to meet him and speak to him. I also met the granddaughter of the guy who wrote the song Aiko Aiko, which you guys know comes from the soundtrack of one of my favorite movies, The Skeleton Key. So it was awesome to meet her. Um, she's always in all the Mardi Gras parades. She's the lady with the feathers and the umbrella. I got some footage of her here. So I got a chance to talk to her the day before. So they did this whole little Mardi Gras parade in the middle of Essence Fest, and I was able to capture it. They did, they did it, guys! Awesome. That was on the last day, but it was just a really good experience to go. The food, the people, it was literally black excellence. All types of black folks there from all over the world. No drama, no cattiness, no beefing, nothing but love, okay? The one thing I noticed about the Essence Festival is that there's so much to do. It's almost too much to do, okay? It was so many things going on, you just cannot keep up. One minute I'm watching Patti LaBelle cooking on stage. Me and my girlfriend, Tina, who is the reason that Patty Pies have done so well. She found me and we found each other and now we're selling so many wonderful things together. You know what I'm saying? Then the next minute, the Central Park Five, AKA the Exonerated Five, because that's what we're going to be calling them from now on. They were on stage at the Essence Festival speaking about their experience. Love for you to share with us how our young men can overcome some of their greatest challenges. You did it in a big way. A lot of inner strength. Find it, keep it, and work and work on it. And Raymond, you, how would you? Uh... For me, um, education was really big. I got my associate degree when I was in prison because I started reading a lot of books, and that opened my mind to what happened to us, and it helped it helped create my base as we become an activist. That was my foundation, reading. That's awesome. And Dr. Salah. Um, and then on top of that, I also worked the media room at the Super Bowl. So we were there. We got a chance to meet so many celebrities, so many performers. The second night that I was there was when Mary J. Blige performed, and she also brought out Little Kim. <laughs> Yeah. 
And it was a lot of people that stopped by the media room just to come in and talk to us and let us know what they were working on. So it was really an awesome experience. We're there for two weeks, so it's a little conflict, but we show women how you resolve a conflict without fighting. And that, to me, is a big thing. Um, the second night was Teddy Riley, and when I tell you, he killed the set. <laughs> the people that he brought out with him was just amazing. He bought yeah. And he bought out White Clef Jean. Let me get this off my chest. I had a dream. It was me, Donald Trump, and Kanye West. Teddy, I flipped the language. I looked at Donald Trump, I started speaking Spanish. Mira, amiga, buenos dias, señorita. Como esta usted y su familia? Estoy en doy en el micrófono. Espero que todos están bien como yo. No. They still ain't convinced. Y'all might get convinced when I flip it in French. Contre masque, la valeur de la monde, je ne crée aucun mal quand tu es avec moi. Tiana Taylor, she bought out Coco from SWV. Genuine was there, Timbaland, Magoo. I have not seen Magoo since, like, I swear, high school. You know, he was on stage performing, so it was a lot of nostalgia. People felt really, really good. It was a lot of positivity. And then, you know, we got to meet the OG, the B-Box King himself, Dougie Fresh. And, you know, these are some deep brothers. I mean, they, they dropped so much knowledge backstage. It was really awesome to get to meet him and take pictures with him and talk to Dougie Fresh. Thank you. Yeah, you know, this, I'm, I'm, everything I'm saying, I'm doing. Yes. I learned a lot from him just in that little moment of meeting him. really awesome experience I had such a good time I think one of my most favorite things besides meeting all the celebrities and you know networking and just meeting people who really support my brand and who really support what I'm doing and who understand my integrity you know what I'm saying like running into Tamron Hall not once but twice seeing Kamala Harris Thank you so much. And then having a chance to sit down and talk to Tamron and tell her thank you for all the wonderful advice she gave me and just, you know, tell me to just keep being myself, keep up the good work, keep my integrity. That means a lot. And the fact that her and Prince were so close, I knew Tamron Hall was a real one, okay? So on top of meeting her and other people, um, it was also a blessing to be there to see Michelle Obama. She literally had me in tears because the things that she was saying was so powerful. And I felt like the whole time she was in the White House, yes, we knew she was the first lady. We knew who Michelle Obama was, but we really didn't get to see that personality. Which, you know, she had to walk on eggshells, and that's one of the things she talked about. Her and Barack had to walk on eggshells. They couldn't just say whatever. They couldn't just tweet whatever. They had to literally walk a fine line because she knew she deviated from that script. They would pin her as the angry black woman and I'm glad that she addressed that like how much we have to struggle how sometimes we cannot be ourselves because it's deemed as not being okay you know when other races wear braids it's chic it's cute when we wear it it's ratchet you know when we use certain words it's ghetto but then when other races use it oh they're hip you know so I just love the fact that Michelle Obama acknowledge that acknowledge what we as black people and black women go through you know how we have to walk that fine line how sometimes we have to act
act certain ways in certain situations and then other ways when we're around our family and our friends we can let our damn hair down so I just love that about her her personality shone through and she kept it real she talked about marriage counseling when she first got with Barack and how he was late and how she was hoping he's not one of these you know trifling brothers out here you know on some BS like she kept it real she cracked a lot of jokes you could tell that was a Michelle Obama from the south side of Chicago and I was just so honored to be there amongst all these people with so many people there you know and you could hear a pin drop like people were mesmerized by her it was important for me to tell that part of my story because I know there are a lot of young kids out there who see me and Barack now right they see us as the former first they see us when we were walking out of the White House but they don't remember uh, how much how many punches we took to get there. So now I'm Michelle Obama and beloved, but for a minute there, I was an angry black woman um, who was emasculating her husband, who was somebody who feared because that was part of the political game, was that as I got more popular and started being more of an asset to my husband, it was interesting that that's when people of all sides, and I stopped to say people from all sides, Democrats and Republicans, mm. tried to take me out by the knees. And the best way to do it was to focus on the one thing they knew people were afraid of was the strength of a black woman. So they had to control the narrative. And I knew that it was important in writing Becoming that I had to sit with the fact that it is uh, understanding how rare it is that a black woman, a modern day woman, gets an opportunity to tell her own story yeah. in a way that's gonna be read by millions. And that shouldn't be an uncommon thing, but I think because we don't see it often, it's a, it's a pleasant shock to the system. <laughs> People were mesmerized by her, and I'm so grateful that I got an opportunity to be there and to experience that in the flesh, okay? So now on top of that, another thing that just meant so much to me was running into my subscribers. Some of y'all literally almost brought me to tears. Like, seriously, like, just y'all stories, you know, because before the celebrities in Hollywood started, you know what I'm saying, fooling with your girl... You guys helped me down, and that's something I will never forget. I'm always going to be the same person. I don't care who I'm with, you know what I'm saying, what environment I'm in. I'm going to stop and talk to my tea sippers. I'm going to stop and tell you thank you. I want to know your name. I want to hug you. You know what I'm saying? Because I would not be in the position that I am today if it was not for you all. So that means a lot to me. People who watch me, who watch my journey, who watch my struggles, who watch me, you know, be drugged through the mud and they saw through the bullshit and they stood 10 toes down with your girl. I appreciate that. It means a lot to me. You know, just the dope conversations I had with you guys, the men, the women, you know, just the black people, white people, gay, straight. It's like my videos touch so many different people that I never expected to touch. You know, even celebrities coming up like, yo, you're the tea lady. This tea is piping hot. I watch you and I respect what you do. Keep up the great work. Hey, tea sippers, I'm here with Miss Cynthia Bailey. And she just wanted to let you guys know this tea is what? Piping hot. I know, that's right. You know, so it's you guys that keep me going. It's you guys that keep me motivated. It's only up from here. I'm definitely trying to take things to the next level. I'm going to still keep making my content. I'm going to keep my integrity. I'm going to keep my research. Like I tell y'all all the time, YouTube is not a race for me. I don't give a damn who's first. Let them be first. I'm about facts and integrity, point blank, period. So thank you guys so much for the love, for the support. Please enjoy these videos that I put together. It took a while to get all this together and edit it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And once again, to all my tea sippers that I ran into, to the ones that we took pictures together thank you guys for you know just stepping outside your own comfort zone and coming to speak to me and acknowledge me letting me know that you know I matter and that I've made a difference in your lives and I've inspired you all to get into YouTube or to you know pursue that degree or to you know start your own business or to be an entrepreneur that means a lot to me coming from a little girl from the hood who had a chronic illness who was told she would not live past the age of 18 to being a mother of not one but two boys that means a lot because I never knew where my story was going to go growing up and the fact that this is my story this is my journey and I'm touching so many people and I'm doing it with integrity and with positivity it means a lot and I'm never going to change that so from the bottom of my heart 
Thank you guys so much. I had a wonderful time at Essence Festival. I definitely want to come back next year. Maybe next year I'll be on a panel or something. You know what I'm saying? Who knows? But either way, I'm there for the people. If I got to walk and, you know, shoot and, you know what I mean, do what I got to do, do my media thing, I'll be there to do that as well. This was an awesome experience and I definitely want to come back again. So thank you guys so much. I love you guys and enjoy the videos. All right. Deuces. But the feel is still there. So why not get on the field and talk about it and talk to people? We didn't stop talking because Oprah ended her show. We learned from it, but the greatest absolutely has played. Walter Payton was the greatest football player to ever, in my opinion, step on that field. But the game is still intact. And so why not get out there and talk? As we were so ahead of our time, and even just us being able to embrace the up and coming female MCs and them, you know, be able to salute us and show us some love. Guys stick together all the time, so I really feel like it's important for us to, you know, wrap our arms around each other and see what we can do to support one another because, like you said, vagina power, we running this shit right now, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Estrogen! Right. <laughs> and, and what's the, what's your process as a group, right? Like, maybe we can go one on one. Like, wait, when you guys get in the studio and you're coming up with the records, does everyone write a verse? Are y'all collabing like, no, this is hot, I'm not doing that. How, how does it all come together to, to make Prime Bob? Well, this little Jay speaking. Little Jay, 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 Before I had to go on, my voice completely went out. And I was just like, oh my God, like, what's gonna happen? I was just praying and praying. Um, but I feel like, you know, God had me covered, you know? Um, and he got me through the show, because well, no, I was, I was scared as hell. You know, I'm like, oh my God, why is the devil at work right now? And I gotta go on Essence's main stage in 30 minutes, you know? But um, I'm really honored to be here. I'm very, very grateful. And um, big thanks to Teddy for even giving me the opportunity. And, and how did that go? Is it like a phone call where he's like, yo, tell this Teddy. I need you to be a part of like, in, in the fact that, I mean, of course, Teddy Rock, you, first off, it's a twofold question, right? Because you have so many auras about you and so many different components about you that pull from so many different eras of music and definitely the, the Teddy Riley era and, and beyond. And so does that feel special when someone like Teddy, who's created mega hits and mega stars, acknowledges you, of course, on, in in the pool of artists that he chooses to work with in, in the 10 years of his career? Heck yeah, I, he definitely called like Tiana, I was like, oh, <laughs> even his introduction, I was just like, wow, you know, like I, I discovered that, you know, that I could sing a little bit. Um, I go Teddy Riley, you about to go on stage right now. I used to hear Teddy saying, yep, yep, uh, these records before. I'm like, I'm gonna talk on a record too, just like him. Like, you know, I, you know, it's no secret. That's my, that's my idol. He's, he's the goat to me. Um, that's why I did growing up hip hop. And then plus, I mean, all of my kids, they basically grown up hip hop. And I say all of my kids, I'm talking about Bow Wow, I'm talking about Brat, I'm talking about Escape. I'm talking all of these people, their kids, um, grew up under hip hop. Yeah. Now I ain't got to answer all the questions. I didn't tell y'all he was coming, but he texted me and let me know he was on the way. So I just kept it uh -oh. a secret. <laughs> I had to come support my big brother, man. He did that thing. People in rap that sold 30 million copies. You understand what I'm saying? Do y'all really understand what I'm saying? What this thing, guy. Man? What thank you, Jermaine? <laughs> 30.
Um, but otherwise, you know, you go, well. They grew up together and we're brothers. We grew up together. We five blocks from each other. Project to project. project. His, his mother used to be in there letting us make as much noise as we want. That turned into music. You see? So it's, it's and, I, and I think the other part to add to it is that I think everybody up here has a certain passion for what they do. You see? And, and I live by a saying. I say passion makes money. Money never made passion. You see? So a lot of times when you find your passion and your calling or the thing that you feel you were put here to do, there's really nothing that could take you off of it. Oh, look at the people around you, friends, family, they're disappearing. Yeah, it so it's important to communicate that energy before anything ever happens. You understand? And he, he tell you, he'll tell you. Yeah, well I mean, y'all said projects, projects. Hut, hut. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, man, we, 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 we have bricks, man. What I encourage kids to do in moving forward is I want them to understand anything that you want to accomplish, you can accomplish, and don't let nobody put you in a box. If you want to be a rapper, you can be a rapper and a great engineer. That's okay. And as we move forward, it's so important that we, and I have to speak for the Pan-African on this part, when kids are growing up, you have to teach them how important it is for them to understand true wealth is not creating money for yourself. True wealth is generational wealth. And in order to get generational wealth, this is why essence is very important. Because what Essence does is if we click up within the right space, what we're able to do now is trust each other more and to partner up and put our currencies together. I got you in the back all day long. Don't worry. I'm going to go back and forth. That's how we do it. I can't see it. I can't see it. Everybody, I've ran into so many tea sippers. Shout out to all the dang on tea sippers I ran into. You guys made me feel like I was like a bootleg celebrity. You are. Oh, okay. You recognize me? You watch me? We love you. We love you, dude. <laughs> it was so much love. Even celebrities who watch me. I'm like, oh my gosh. Hey, they're here. Hey, you guys. How is everybody? Oh my goodness. This is my first Essence Festival. It was awesome. I had a good time. Lovely TTV is blowing up, y'all. Yeah. I got a damn media pass. Yeah. They want me to put this on my YouTube. Yeah. I met Roland Martin, Tamron Hall. I've been getting a lot of good advice from people. Tell them, tell them. <laughs> <laughs> I've been having a blast, y'all. I'm so glad. Let's see. Let's say LOL, bootleg celebrity. Yes, for real. Like, some of you have been coming up to me. Like, oh my God, I'm a tea sipper. Oh my God, you're lovely tea. And I was just like, who, me? So that's just, that's awesome. I never expect people to recognize me. So you know I'm low key, y'all. Hey, you guys. There's a lot of people on here. Hey, T, I hope you see Jackie again. I love y'all together. Jackie's here. She's been um, DMing me. I haven't seen her. I saw Shalom. She was on the stage. So I saw her earlier. I don't know if we're all going to eat dinner later, but I ain't ate nothing. I've been walking for about six hours. I done ran into so many people. I got to show y'all this footage I have and pictures and Cynthia Bailey, I just got done chopping up with her. It was so good to see her and um, just a lot of people. It's been nice. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, you know Celeste watch you. They just don't subscribe to be incognito. Yes, they really do. Oh, you recognize me? Like, 
Like this is all day. 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 All this all day i'm just i'm just trying to do my job wow. and everybody just keeps recognizing i'm like oh my god it's been nothing but love so i needed this you know sometimes you think like you know with the trolls and all the nonsense on social media that you know people don't like you but that's not the case you guys just sin for yourselves wow. i'm simply live streaming and people are stopping me and blessed blessed honey and i blessed <laughs> See, that's what happens when you have a, a, a good vibe and positive energy. It's been nothing but love the whole time I've been here. And I'm just like, everyone I met, everyone who stopped me and just told me how my videos help them. And they're on the notification squad. That just, it means so much to me. Like, I'm going to cry. Thing. So, oh my gosh, my feet hurt so bad. I have on flats and they still hurt. I've been walking. I think we've been walking nonstop for eight hours. Meeting all types of people. Honey, we met Kamala Harris, okay? But she, she, she seemed nice, you know, she had a lot of security around her, but she seemed cool. But I was like really just enamored by meeting Tamron Hall because she reached out to me years ago and encouraged me to just keep doing my thing. She's like, don't change who you are. I'm like, you know, I really like you. I look up to you. I said, but I'm not that articulate. I was like, you know, do people even take what I'm doing seriously? She said, I watch you all the time. She said, just be yourself. It's not about you being perfect or, you know, being what they want you to be. Just be you. And I just kept that. Remember she said that? Yes, some lovely tea. Ah, another one, another tea surprise. Hi, what's your name? Ashley. 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 Nice to meet you. I love you. I love you. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. You are a great inspiration to me. You have helped me learn to love my skin color. Oh my God. I love you. I love you. You're going to make me cry. Like seriously, like everybody's been coming up to tell me stuff. I'm like, where's he at? I need the shit. Oh my God. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. No yes. Very nice, very nice meeting you. Oh. You are so wonderful. You are too. Thank you. Thank you. You want to get your yeah. I hear the accent now. Oh, you hear? Yeah, now I'm coming down. Everybody's just coming up like that. I'm waiting. I love it. 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 Yes, oh, we can take a bitches. Okay, yes, let's turn. Oh, that's your phone right there. Right, I got. Okay, yes, we do. 
She drank I'm, too much water, y'all. Yeah. Too much. I'm always having to run to the bathroom. <laughs> we like, like, damn. I gotta pee. It's been 20 water. minutes. I gotta drink a whole so bottle of water. That's why that skin is so clear. Too much water. It's you see how clear that is, right? That's that's oh that good. Clear. 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 Oh, you were saying you're an OG. Oh, yeah. I'm you're an OG. OG. Patreon, Patreon, all of that. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, yes. Thank yes. you. I'm having to start donating a whole lot more. It's been crazy. It's, my it's all good. Don't even but worry yeah. about it. But thank you. Just y'all watching and supporting. It's amazing. It is, it is. It's, and it's crazy because it's like, I'm running to celebrities they're like, oh my God, you're the T girl. Like, it's like, you want to me? But it's like, you know, YouTube is becoming a thing now. You know, yeah. like people go to YouTube for news. Girl, so I'm always going to keep my integrity. I'm always going to do yeah. my research. It ain't about being first. It's about being what? Right. 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 Thank you. Yes, that's so. why I'm like, uh-uh. I got to see what you're They're like, if you don't about. make the mm -hmm. video, I'm mm -hmm. not watching. So, yeah. Yes, I'm girl. Gonna keep it up. But thank you so much for meeting you. So wonderful Come meeting you today. Come on. She's gonna make me cry, you guys. Aww. Like seriously, she's gonna make me cry. She's so pretty. Thank no you. Problem. Jesus Thank is you. real. You have a good evening. Uh, yeah. The accent. That's not from anyone, bitch. I watch her every motherfucking day. Listen to that accent. Girl. I love this that accent. That's my girl. Oh my god. That baby. Lovely what time? Baby. 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 <laughs> I love how y'all say. <laughs> That is my Thank girl. Oh so my! Let me see. Watch Thank up. you. It's not about being first. It's being what? what? Correct. Correct. Accurate. Bring it back. Thank you. Bring it back. YouTube is not a brand. Honey, I watch it every day. Every day.